Okay, I wanted to record this little segment on some of the CRM functionalities and processes, uh, ways to interact with the system as fast as possible. Uh, one of those ways is recording interactions. So that would be phone calls, heaven forbid you write them a paper-based mail, you can re record that if you have meetings with them. So the way we do that within the system is we set up something called an interaction template. Okay, so if you do a quick search, you can find it very easily. Uh, but within the wizard, uh, you're going to look for a specific code. So in this case, we have three different types of emails that we send. They each will have attachments associated with them. So if I have a product catalog, if I have uh, a, a brochure of a specific type of product, I can build out some templates for that. Uh, for phone calls, I can have outgoing calls, I can have meeting calls where we discuss things, uh, I can have different setups that I want to have in the system to record what happens. Uh, and then you have correspondence types, uh, and that's where it actually tells you um, what the correspondence type would be. So is it an email? Is it a paper copy? Did I fax something? Is it blank? Meaning, is it something other than a piece of paper? So when I use these templates, and we'll go ahead and, and step through one, I don't need to go to the opportunity to do so. Uh, I can do it right from the list. Uh, and so if I have the Create Interaction button available to me, uh, and you can always personalize to add it there, what I want to do to record an activity with this customer is simply hit Create Interaction, type in what I'm doing, so in this case, a phone call, and then I have in here where I have the description field. This is your short, very quick description, something like uh, discussed power requirements. Something to just reference what that call was about, but not really any kind of great detail. If I'm having a much longer, much more detailed conversation with my client, then I'm going to use the comment section. And this is where I can literally dictate what I am talking to the client about. So if it's a 45 minute call and I want to record my notes, I would be doing this as I'm talking to the person on the phone, assuming I don't have to be looking at some other screen. Uh, but this is what I would do. I would record uh, the at length comments so that I can see that when it records the, the transaction here. So I don't really need to enter anything else about this. Uh, there are other options that I can, but it is already linked to my opportunity because I launched it from that opportunity list. So again, uh, if we're gonna walk through it quickly, I would say create interaction, um, had a phone call, uh, talked about business needs, and uh, I'm done, right? And I can move on to the next activity in my queue. Uh, I can also do the same thing with emails. So if I create an interaction and I type in that it's an email uh, and whatever it's about, so let's say it's a draft um, of something, then I can record that. What the system will do is track that we need to send an email and it will give you dates and time about that but what's important about it is what the system is going to do. So when you hit OK, it's going to ask you, do you want to export the attachment to view it uh, or do you want to just send it? So if I say no, then it builds up the email, attaches my uh, attachment to it, and then it will pull in an email body template, but I could also write a custom message if I wanted to fill it in myself. So those are just interaction opportunities that I can do and ways to interact with my, my opportunities within the system using that interaction and building up that interaction log of what I've uh, communicated to that client for. One other thing that uh, I think is important is how can we build up some kind of email campaign to somebody? Uh, and the way I would suggest doing that is uh, within our uh, sales cycles. So if we go there really quickly, uh, we can see that there are different um, stages within each of these uh, sales cycles. So if we look at the stages, 
inside of each of these stages are activities. And so what I would think would be a good start, if I receive a lead from a trade show, I would want to enter that lead as a new opportunity and I would want to kick off an email campaign to them. And that may be a short series of five emails. It may be a much longer series of emails, okay? But what I want to do is I want to create an activity code called email campaign or something like that. And what happens inside of this, if, uh, if we go and look at the uh, actual uh, activities within it, these are tasks, okay? And I can set up some tasks that would be email style tasks. And so if I have five uh, emails pre-built ready to go, then I could set up a date formula that says, okay, send this one as soon as I kick off that first uh, opportunity stage. The second one goes a week later, the next one a week after that, the next one a week after that. And so it builds out this email campaign and then we use the system and the workflows within Business Central to send those emails on our behalf, okay? And I can have other activities happening at the same time. I can progress that opportunity uh, past the first stage. So if I've gone ahead and activated that first stage, that's when it starts the email campaign. But I can still progress that and move this opportunity into the next stage without wiping out that email campaign. And so that allows me to have further phone calls and meetings, but still at the same time have that automated email uh, touch points going out uh, based on those uh, cycles, uh, one week, two weeks, whatever the case may be. Okay, well that was the uh, short uh, session that I wanted to have today just so that you could see some of the capability, uh, but yeah, let's keep discussing it and working through a way to make this a really uh, fast moving CRM sales tracking tool.